Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Lori Micah. Many years ago, I started creating mandalas out of polymer clay as a form of self-expression. I like this definition of mandalas. A mandala is a circular geometric symbol of the universe in its ideal form, and its creation signifies the transformation of a universe of suffering into one of joy. It can also be used as an aid for meditation. The act of creating a mandala is one that brings a sense of peace and wholeness through the actual creative process, regardless of what medium one employs. The mediums that I love are polymer clay and mosaics, and this project perfectly marries these two disciplines. In this course, I will start with a couple of ways to transform the blank wood substrate into a beautiful backdrop for your mandala. And next, we will explore the unlimited possibilities of using stencils on polymer clay to create the designs for our mandalas. From there, I will share my favorite methods for altering the surface of the clay through painting. And after the layers of the mandala are painted, I will demonstrate how I embed different glass tessera, beads, and jewelry pieces into the clay. I will also show you how to use the polymer clay to create specific design elements. And after we've completed our mandala, I will go over how to use the polymer clay oven for a successful bake each time. There are so many directions that one can take using all these techniques, and I'm really looking forward to sharing them all with you. Included in this course is a PDF with a list of supplies and resources, as well as my technique guide. So let's get creating. Lori, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. You have brought quite a course that is such a great merging of two of your favorite mediums that you work with. Right. The opportunity to bring polymer clay and mosaics together for a class for Mosaic Arts Online is really a thrill for me. I know that I've been in the create arts world, but I, I do straddle both of those. So it's really nice to be able to have uh, a project here that embraces both of those. And this project definitely does do that. Absolutely. And yeah. thank you for having me here. Oh it's, my gosh. I, you know, it's such a joy to come up to Santa Barbara and to spend the weekend. As I always say, it's not work. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so We do make it fun here. And it is amazing. I do have a relationship with Lori based on the Mosaic world. And she has brought two amazing courses so far to Create Arts Online, our sister company. But now we are here at Mosaic Arts Online. And tell us a little bit about, we have two substrates that you start with and then you really dive in and create this piece on camera from beginning to end. Right. Uh, and the thing I wanted to say off the, the top is that one of the reasons that I love this project and why I started doing Mandalas is it really is a departure from my more narrative mosaics mm -hmm. that people are familiar with where it's kind of you're in your head and you're creating a theme and, and a story, you're telling a story. These are all just about the process and it really is meditative when you're not having to drive a certain idea mm -hmm. so you can just enjoy the creative process and and I love that about this project and it, it, it certainly encompasses what a mandala is all about kind of this meditative uh, unity sort of uh, idea so I, I love this project and I love bringing in the mixed media aspect yes. of it so it's uh, not only is it polymer clay and mosaic, but it's painting, it's collage, yes. it's quite a few different disciplines. So uh, we start off and we talk a little bit about substrates in the class and I demonstrate two of them. And one of them is doing stamping and stenciling on the, the substrate, which creates one look. And the other look that we did in the class was this napkin collage technique using just regular ordinary decorative napkins. And so it's it's super fun and it's a great technique that has a lot of uh, crossover applications for backgrounds of other pieces. Uh, it's really fun and it's a, a fun project to do. It is. And it doesn't really take that many materials. I mean, having a few paints and watching Lori work because the painting part is really, to me, meditative watching you as we filmed it. But that's where Lori has really got her amazing methods that are tried and true for so many years. So learning how she creates the paint over many colorful layers right. of polymer clay, which really the play, the way, the two, the 
the way the two play together is really, really incredible. And then just building a layer on top of layer, it really is amazing. Like you're saying, the mandala um, experience that it's not heavy on concept; it's more, you know, materials and enjoying the process. Right. Yeah, it's all about the process and creating that circular uh, piece. Is it's just it's fun to do. That's I mean the bottom line. It's fun and it's very peaceful. It's almost like doing the Zen tangle draw. You know where. Right. You're just filling them in. This has a similar sensibility where it's calming and uh, it's it's just joyful to do. And I just, there's nothing I love more than sharing these techniques of altering the clay surface with paint because mm -hmm. I come to clay as a painter first and foremost. So I like to bring that sensibility into my uh, clay work. And then the added fun of bringing in mosaic materials and glass yes, tessera exactly. and all, all those different kinds of things together uh, is just fun and uh, I think people will enjoy this class a lot. I do too and I can't thank you enough for bringing it to Mosaic Arts Online. I think we'll see her again here. Look forward to seeing you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>